Kenyan School of Thought agreed that education is the pillar of any society. Without its progression, the future may come to a complete standstill or eventually begin to regress. On December 3, 2018, the United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution proclaiming January 24th as International Day of Education. The theme this year is focused on examining the many ways learning can empower people, protect the planet, building shared prosperity, and foster peace. As the world celebrates this day, Plus TV Africa spoke with some educationists on the state of our education sector. Um, really, education in Nigeria had reached four over ten. Why? Because in the area of curriculum, we got, we had it right, but it's not being implemented. I think Nigeria's education system is a work in progress. Um, our curriculum needs to be revised, it needs to be revisited, the curriculum is too, it's too large. The thing about it is that it's parallel. You can do vocation and you still get your certification. But the, the most important thing is that when the child gets to, or when the student gets to a certain level, you need to identify what that child wants to do. I think there should be more vocational schools, more technical schools. You see, in China, a lot of uh, the students there are hands-on. Some of the challenges facing the education sector was mentioned. The need for inclusion of vocational training and making provision for children with special needs. Well, the thing about it is that the only way you can improve it is where you know what the problem is. If you don't know what the problem is, you can't improve on something. The unfortunate thing is that we do know where the problems are. Basically, teachers are not well trained, and competency skills are not achieved, but somehow, those things are overlooked. Foundation is very key. Once you get it wrong at this stage, the child is going to have issues. I mean, it's... And here we run the Montessori method of education, which helps to simplify the learning. It's not like other schools or how we grew up and were taught by cramming. So here we simplify it and we break it down for them. So yeah, this, this is the stage that they need to get it right. And I think that's one thing that the Nigerian government is also not laying emphasis on. Government at all levels was called on to invest more in education. There are a lot of reforms with education, but sometimes we need to ask what are the motive of the reforms? These reforms, are they really, really directed towards the children? Because at the end of the day, detecting children who are unable to have educational achievement, we're still not doing it. Education to me is paramount. A, a child that's not educated, even with basic primary education, I mean, will have the normal life skills. You know, and that is what is important for the Nigerian child. If you teach a child to fish, then you don't have to, you know, give the child fish in the future. Inclusive and equitable quality education creates lifelong opportunities for all. Countries will not succeed in achieving gender equality and breaking the cycle of poverty that is leaving millions of children, youth and adults behind. Reporting for PLUS TV Africa, Mercy Emmanuel.